Greetings, Carbonauts. I'm Miguel Pina from Squad. Just thrilled to welcome you to the release features video for update point 90, beta than ever. The last essential system for career mode is finally making its first appearance in the game. Take your space center from a modest beginning to a top-of-the-line space exploration complex. Every facility must be upgraded through different levels, each unlocking advanced features and expanding what you can do in-game. All of these costs are pretty penny, of course, so be prepared to save up on your funds. I've cheated myself a bunch of money to make it happen, so don't expect to go through updates as fast as I did. And don't blow them up, repairing is expensive. All Kerbals now start with a base skill, be it as pilots, engineers or scientists. This starts at level 0, providing no bonuses at all, but as your Kerbals level up, they will unlock new abilities. Scientists give increasingly higher bonuses to science collection. Engineers can repair parts of your craft, assuming you broke something. And pilots will be able to take over some ship controls if you choose to allow them. Don't worry, with enough training you can even trust Jab. Kinda. Maybe. The editor scenes have had a major overhaul. We have completely rebuilt the parts list, so you can now look them up not just by the usual categories, but also by resource capacity, model type, tech level, and many more. Don't like any of those? Well, we're also letting you create your own custom categories to throw whichever parts you like in there. In addition, you can sort all filter parts by name, mass, and cost. All of these are unlocked through the button at the top left that allows you to enter advanced mode. And then there's the construction gizmos, place, offset, rotate, and reroute. Get familiarized with all of them and you'll be able to build crafts that were simply not possible before the update. The editor as a whole is just full of little changes, so try stuff, experiment and build things in a completely new way. If you can't tell, we're particularly proud of how this one came out, we're loving it. 3D modeler extraordinaire Parkjet has once again knocked it out of the park, this time with the MK3 parts. We'd call this an overhaul, but there weren't that many MK3 parts to begin with. So there was much less overhauling and a whole lot more adding entirely new and absolutely massive parts. These are designed for heavy lifting, can fit size 2 parts inside their cargo base and will end up being the workhorses for your space program. Just be careful with deployment. Ow, sorry guys. Modmaker Arsonite has collaborated with us and we have integrated a version of his mod, Fineprint, to Kerbal Space Program. This will add a whole new level of depth to the contract system, adding tasks such as surveying areas, deploying satellites, constructing space stations or planetary bases, and even capturing asteroids. Just be warned, some of these are really, really hard. For example, this survey with low tech levels took me about 10 takes. Should have just used a rocket, really. With the help of enthusiast Sinogeologist and KSPTV streamer Tanuki Chow, Every single rocky body in the solar system now has biomes to call its own. This is a remarkable increase just by sheer numbers, as we now not only have over a hundred biomes, not counting the ones at the space center by the way, but existing ones have been overhauled to a new level of quality. Let's just say the science archive just got really, really big. You completionists out there have quite the task now. A whole lot of other things have changed in update point 90, but I dare not spoil them all. We hope you will enjoy the update as much as we enjoyed making it. And thank you for supporting our game.